Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Star Citizen Addicts Anonymous. I'm Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo, your host. This show is brought to you by the support of my wonderful patrons over at patreon.com forward slash Batgirl. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Batgirl. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about Teach's Ship Shop, which was added to the latest version of the PTU. Now, in Teach's Ship Shop, you could buy ships, and you're given 5 million in credits to test this. But there's a lot of things that we want to talk about before we even get there. And that's mainly about the realism in the game. Right now, we have realism in the way we travel, realism in that we have to sleep and eat, realism in the way ships work, give or take a little bit of physics that are circumnavigated at times. But the game is reached a level of realism that's really been unparalleled by any game in the past. We all knew that ships were going to be sold to us, and most of us understood that ships were going to come at a premium. For years, we've been told that you're buying ships now, but in the end, they would be a aggregate or the sum of all their parts, and their parts were going to be pretty expensive also. Chris has said it's going to take 60 hours to earn a constellation. He's also said that you are going to spend more money outfitting your ship than you would purchasing it. So walking into the game and finding that ships range from 75,000 up to 1.6 million wasn't a shock for me. But it did start causing a lot of conversation out there about how are we going to make the money when they keep resetting the PTU? They're going to have to balance. I like that word balance because balance CIG is going to have a different idea of that than we do, but they're going to have to balance the mission rewards so we can make enough to buy a ship. But then I started thinking about real life. If I had to save up all the money I needed for a car and then go and buy it, it would take me a lot longer to buy the car instead of just going to buy a car, sign a document, and pay them monthly. Yeah, I'm talking about ship financing. Opening up some kind of financial institution. Maybe player run. Maybe game run. I favor game run because I could just see a whole bunch of exploits that are coming as people are making a lot of money and using it to make more money by giving out loans. The more I think about it, the more I might not be against that, but I wonder who wants to actually go down that route. That would be pretty funny. But still, I really want this to be a suggestion. I want CIG to consider this. We're already going to have rentals, which I think are important. It's kind of like, here, give us a little bit of money, take the ship for a week, see if you like it. If you like it, you could buy it. To me, that's kind of like when I went to go buy my car. I just recently bought a hybrid. And the dealer was like, take it home for a few days, see how you like it. And if you like it, come back, sign these papers, and give us money each month, and you can have that car. So I'm proposing that ship financing be instituted in the game, then for CIG to find some kind of a balance there, right? Some way to actually make it work. And then we don't have to worry about the big things like, how are you going to buy the ship? Now, in the future, when you're buying bigger and bigger ships, you'll have trade-ins, you'll also have more money saved up, and you'll also have a credit rating that might be tracked in the game. How much money you're earning weekly, how regular were you with your payments, how successful were you in paying off your loans, you know, kind of a credit rating. Oh my god, this sounds too much like real life. Maybe it's a bad idea. Comment below, though, folks. I'd love to hear your ideas about ship financing. And with that said, let's go on to the next piece. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. It really helps the channel grow. And if you do subscribe, please be sure to click the little notification icon because YouTube has changed the way that they inform you of my videos as they're put out. And if you could please, please, please just tell a friend about the channel, I would be very, 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 very appreciative. And with that said, folks, you all be safe out there. And yes, I did it in under five minutes. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.